Ciao, sono Sara Z dalla La Land. Incontrerò grandi ospiti provenienti da ogni parte del mondo. Vi sorprenderanno condividendo la loro storia, ma tratteremo anche svariati argomenti. Le storie raccontate spezzano le barriere. Enjoy! Ciao, I'm Sara Z. Dominic Willingham, actor. You can see him on Peacock TV in the TV series Bust Down, and recently he was in the short film Boomslang 2, presented at the Cannes Film Festival 2022. I rhyme, I rhyme, I rhyme. Dominic, welcome to Italy. <laughs> Hello, my friend, how are you? I miss you. <laughs> I know. Can you want to set the volume, the volume? Okay. Okay, is it me? Is it me? I'm pretty no. sure it's me. It was me, it was me. So. The waiting was worth it because we are with Dominic Winningham. Mean, he's just so funny, 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 funny. And the great actor, we met, we met at the dog park and we could say a lot about it. But yes, Dominic, we can. Yeah, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> but that's where, that's where we started talking and chit chatting a lot. But I have a question, Dominic, before we start that is spinning in my head. Go for it, my friend. But you. <laughs> Your Instagram account name. I mm. am that dumb. Did you play on words? <laughs> like D U M B? Like I'm, I'm that yes. dumb or I'm that dumb? D O M yes. I'm Dominic. Yes, because I think I am not the smartest person in the world. I think I. I think I know like a few things about a few things about a few things, but I don't think like I'm very knowledgeable. I mean, like, to be honest, like I kind of breeze my way through school by not doing the right thing, if you know what I mean, like looking off people's papers like, huh? So honestly, like it was a name I think I came up with in high school. And it was like a play on type of like, oh, I am that dumb, like I am that stupid, but I'm like, oh, my name is Dominique. So I just keep it. I thought it was clever. Are you going to say it's stupid? Because it's probably stupid. I'm sure it's stupid. Well, for the Italian audience, because Dominic is D-O-M and I-Q-U-E, but Dom is D-U-M-B. Anyways, for me, Dominic, you are that Dominic and you're not that dumb because <laughs> from born in Memphis, Tennessee, landing in L.A., how did L.A. treat you? Honestly, Art. friend, I would say L.A. was beautiful. Like, I still love it here. It was one of those things where it's just so brand new. You know, like, you, you move from, like, a new city or a new, like, state and all that other type of stuff. For me, I had never even been on a plane before I came to L.A. Never been Not on even a plane. 10 minutes. 30 minutes. Nope. No. Nope. No. Never so been on a plane. Yep, first time ever. Never been on a plane. Never been outside of Tennessee, to be completely honest. <laughs> so I just like jumped. But like, yeah, honestly, LA has treated me well, other than the cost of living. <laughs> uh, the cost of living is a little expensive, but I, real, it's okay. I think they say you pay for like the weather and stuff. And you know, like, Sarah, we can't ask for better weather out here, you well, know. No, especially for our dogs. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Just think if like we were in like, you know, the South is super hot, like Tennessee. So right now, um, my family's been telling me it's like a hundred and something degrees, like 115 sometimes in Memphis. Like it is hot, hot, hot. Oh, same yeah. as here. So what, what do you think it's uh, like, what do you think is LA or better, better? What did LA has that your hometown doesn't? Besides like mm. the entertainment, because you came here for acting, of course. Right. But besides that, is there something that wow you or not? Honest, honestly, no, yeah, yeah. Um, I just, I had always dreamed of being out here. Like I always dreamt, like since I was like, it's going to sound very like, oh, but I, I have, like, since I was maybe 10 or something, like, I just felt like I needed to be out here. So I think, to be completely honest, it was one of those things where it was a dream come true, to be completely honest. Like, I mean, I had always just envisioned this place. I had always um, 
you know, seeing like movies and TV shows based out of LA. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could see palm trees and beaches and all the other type of stuff, you know, but it wasn't just like, it wasn't, I guess, accessible to me. Cause you know, in Memphis, the only thing we have is like the Mississippi River, which is fun, but it's which not, is... <laughs> it, it, it's, it's not too. the ocean. Yeah. And I would not suggest yeah, you go I... swim in it, but it is, it's fun. But I think, just because there's so much culture here in LA, like in all different types of culture, you can go down the street and you can be a part of like African American culture, or you can go down the street and be a part of Hispanic culture. We have a Korea town here. I mean, we have so many things in LA. And I think that's probably why I love it the most because it's so diverse. It's how the real world should look, you know, like people like mm -hmm. me and you are talking right now, you know, like, that's how the world should be. Somebody from Italy, somebody from Memphis coming together just because of great vibes, you know? So yeah, I think that's probably like the best thing that LA has to offer is just the, the camaraderie and just like the different walks of life that we have here, you know? Mm -hmm. And how, how did you, how did you get into acting? Well, of course you came to LA for acting, but yeah. how did you break through like this difficult, uh, world. <laughs> I, know, um, I know, I know how, but because we talked a lot about it, I, I really yes. want, to, I want your personality to come out because you're so human, you're, you're funny, Dominic, you, you are, yeah. you are, no, yeah. you are, no, <laughs> I'm just saying, you are, period. <laughs> Well, I appreciate that, Sarah. Like, yeah, by the way, me and Sarah are like, so, oh my gosh, like, the moment we met at the dog park, should I even give this story? I'm going to give it, whatever. Okay, at the dog park, like, Sarah has this incredible star of a dog named Georgie. He literally is the dog park star. He walks in, all the dogs just go crazy about him. So, like, and my dog, Buddy, like, they are, like, best friends, but we just started me based off there, but, like, whatever sorry going back to your original question about um getting into like acting honestly i i was one of those kids that just loved television i love 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 television like i would run home to watch like that so raven um uh, buffy the vampire slayer like all of these shows but honestly i'm not gonna lie we did not have cable in my house so i had to kind of I really grew up on shows like Arthur. Have you heard of Arthur, like the little um, Arbark with the glasses? Uh, probably in Italy or in Italian has a different name. Uh, I would have to search for, uh, for it. Yeah, Arthur. he's called Arthur. Um, I think uh, it's A-R-T-H. Oh, yeah. Arthur. And that was a, was a TV series Amer in America. American TV yes. series. Arthur. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I'm going to look it up. I'm doing my okay, research in the meantime. Going, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so like I honestly, like I would be one of those kids that were like glued to the TV because like my home life, like I, like I have a great mom, I have a great sister, but like we just kind of went through so much stuff, you know, like internally in our house that I just really wanted to just like escape. So I would just look mm -hmm. at TV all the time. It was like the way I escaped and I always was like, I want to be like those people. Like, I want, I want my life to be kind of like that, you know, like the kind of happy-go-lucky, have the best friends here and there type of stuff. Like, I always wanted that type of life when I was younger, you know, and I think I just got so encapsulated with the TV and stuff that I just honestly um, just started watching it a lot. So once I got older, kind of like after high school, because honestly in high school, I was just trying to survive, you know, like I had some of my like closest friends in high school. Like I wasn't, I guess like quiet, definitely wasn't quiet in high school. Like I, I guess kind of known, I guess like there's somebody actually here right now, um, so Kalisha, like she was like my, well, she still is one of my closest friends and like I was homecoming king. Yeah. And um, she was like homecoming queen and we were just like inseparable. And in high school, I really didn't even tell people like I wanted to act. Like, it was just, I'm just trying to get through the day. I'm just trying to get through it, all the other type of stuff. It was actually in college, if I'm being completely honest, where... What, what was the, the trigger in college? What what, what happened? Like... Honestly, I, I'm, that's a good question, Sarah. Like, I honestly am trying to... 
I think it was, I knew a guy who, like, we roamed together for a while, and we, like, started doing, like, these little YouTube videos, right? Just, like, me getting up, kind of almost, like, stand-up comic, except just on a video, like, he just put a camera on me. He was just like, go, just talk. And I did it, and people all around the campus, like, they started, like, buzzing, like, oh, Dom, like, this is so funny, and blah, blah, blah. And it was always something I wanted to do. People, like, in my family have always been like, oh, my God, boy, you should be, like, a comedian. You're so silly and whatever and stuff. But honestly, I just kind of let it go. It was in college when I did, like, those YouTube videos that something snapped. Like, something was like, what if, like, I went for this? You know? What if, you know, those images, those actors that I see on TV, they're part of me or I'm part of them, you know, like yes. I was watching Beverly Hills 90210. I never asked or I never dreamed of being the United States, but mm -hmm. I wanted to meet Dylan for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Perry, Luke Perry. Yes, Luke Perry. But, but, but talking about Dominic, you said something very important. Mm -hmm. Like your family saw that you were funny, you were silly. How mm -hmm. important is how important is to be supported by your family and your friends? But first, your family, because a lot of people, when I talk to friends, they say, "Well, you know, I wanted to do this, but I couldn't because of my family. I wanted to mm -hmm. go there, but I couldn't." So you instead did it. How did they yeah. support you? How did your Honestly, family? I don't want to sound too cocky and stuff, but to be completely honest, I have the best family in the world. I mean, my, I just even like from my aunts and my cousins and my uncles and like, you know, but mainly like my sister and my mama, it, they have always, I mean, literally always, always, always had my back. Like we call ourselves like the power of three because like my mom, my sister and I, like nothing can come in between us. Nothing can stop us if we all put it together. So honestly, I will say, so with my mom, um, I actually wanted to go to LA right after I graduated from high school. But my mom is a school teacher and she was very pro, hey, being a black person in America, you need to have an education and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm not saying I don't want you to go because actually my mom was like, Baby, you need to go. Like, go, go. Like, because I believe in you. You know, she, That's... my mom is just the best, but she wanted me to do school first because she knew there would be a lot of contracts and stuff that I would have to read and like I needed to understand the language. So honestly, after I got done with um, college, my mom was just like so supportive. Like, I told her that I was going to give myself a year after I graduated from college and then I'm going to go out to LA. But I only waited like six months and she was like, okay, we need to start planning go. stuff. Yeah, she was like, okay, let's start planning stuff. We need to find you a job out there. Um, you need to, this is, she literally did my budget for me, Sarah. Like, so, Dom, so your mom, she came with you in LA the first time? No, or no, no. Or she was just giving you, like, advice? Like, yeah, she now, didn't come with you? Okay. She did not, she wanted to come with me. But I told her I needed to do this on my own because I'm so, I'm such a mama's boy. Let's put that out there. Everybody, I'm a mama's boy, whatever, make fun of me. I don't care. Um, I'm such a mama's boy that, like, I, she, I, I knew that if she came out here, when it was time for her to leave, I felt like it would be ripping at my heart again. You know, like, it would already be hard to fly across the country, leaving everything I love. You know, you absolutely know. And then having her come out here with me and then having to see her leave again, like I could not take that. So I had to beg her not to come with me the first time. I'm like, I have to do it myself, mom. I'm like, I got to. And it's, uh, like, okay. yeah, I understand. Yeah, or maybe Dominic, you could have taken with you just because you were scared. So you could like hang on her because you yeah. were scared of the, of, the, of the plane. I know, I don't know, were you scared of, of the plane or just because or you were just uh, <laughs> curious to see? Because I was scared. I got into a panic attack the oh, first yeah? time. So, yeah. yeah. I feel I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest fan of flying even right now, <laughs> to be honest. But um, I think I just, I knew it was a necessary evil. Like, I had to tackle. 
I had to get on a plane in order to get there because I was not driving three days to get out to L.A. by myself, you know. Um, so I was scared, but thank God there was this older lady beside me. She still even keeps up with me right now, like on social media and stuff. But it was my first time getting on a plane. She sat right beside me. And like soon as takeoff happened, I'm like, this is it. This is it. We're going down. I'm at the top. Like, I was so scared. <laughs> I was so scared. But literally on takeoff, you know, she talked to me. She called me down. She even gave me like a little peppermint out of her purse. And she was like, so, was this your first time flying? And I still keep up with her to this day. She held my hand for three and a half hours on the plane ride because I was scared. I was scared. I, I was so scared. Oh, wow. I, I mean, I flew before coming to the United States. I did fly. I did. But mm -hmm. they were only like two hours or so like, ma yeah, maximum two hours. But like mm -hmm. 11 hours was, yeah, was a lot. So you instead, you never stepped on a plane and like facing the, a trip for the unknown because it's not mm -hmm. just a trip. It's like landing in a city and you still don't know how it's going to unfold. It. And Correct. that you accomplished a lot just from that, like taking the courage to leave and following your dream. And when you were in LA, did you, was it, was it, Sorry. <laughs> did you understand? <laughs> okay, I'm repeat. Uh, did you meet friends? Were they supportive with you? How about the friendship in LA? Yeah, actually, I have a lot of great friends out here in LA. People that I have known since I basically moved out here. Um, and I think friendship is so important on this journey, on any journey that you are going on, trying to go for your dreams. I have friends that are like family to me, to be completely honest. Um, but also like, I'm a very talkative person. Like, you know this from like the dog park and stuff. I can literally talk to this plant. And you have can a good spot time. Dominic <laughs> from far away. That's Dominic talking. One time is here, and then he's on the left, and then he's on the right, and then he's in the middle, like talking to different. But it's not this. Yeah, is, yeah this is your energy. It's your positive, like very uplifting energy. That, I that's true. I see. Yeah, I try to be positive, honestly, because like, what's the point of being like a rude asshole? Like. Nobody likes rude people. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but like nobody likes rude people. So why would I do that? And it takes nothing for you to be nice. But my friends, like I have a, I, I, I feel like I know a lot of people, but like when it comes to close friends, I only have a few. And those people are like my brothers and sisters because they have shown me like when times get rough, like they are there. Like they're going to make fun of me okay. in the process. That's how friends are like my friends and I, we, if you would hear us talk to each other, you would think we don't like each other, but that's how, you know, like, who my close friends are. We talk to each other so crazy, but my friends, they, I think it's so important to have a good tribe out here, like a good tribe of people that you can honestly say have your back, a good tribe of people that just want to see you win, and they are not in competition with you. When you win, they feel like they win. Like, I have friends when they accomplish stuff like get new jobs or my friend he's a writer and like when he like gets into like a film festival or whatever the case is I'm like yes friend we going out to celebrate I don't care how big or small it is we are doing this and you need nice. that encouragement out here you you have to have it I think you know there are some people who can do life like solo and I applaud those people but unfortunately I am not I I love being around people and especially good people who care for me. You know, like I, it's so important. It's so important to have a good group of people around you because LA is scary. Yeah. And, and, and uh, when I talk to my Italian friends about LA and I, maybe I'm a little bit, I, I, I put it down. I put down the city a little bit, but I'm, I'm telling the truth. It's very, it's a city that crashes you if you're not very strong mentally. Ooh, you know, it, put, it can put you down. Yeah. It, uh, what's the word you use? It, um, it, it can make you feel small. Small. Oh yeah, yeah. Small. I, I thought you used a different word. <laughs> no, like, no, I, I would say <laughs> preach like a preacher. Maybe it's yeah, better yeah. than my word. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it but can. It, but it's true that you have to live 
live in that city in order to completely understand. And it, all, of, all of your friends are like actors or do you have any friends outside of the entertainment world? To be completely honest, maybe this is why my friendships work so well. A lot of my, some of my friends are not in the industry at all. You know, some of them are like, we're different things in the industry, like writers. Um, one of my best friends wants to run a studio one day. Like, and he's very well on his way there. But a lot of my friends are actors. A lot of my friends are just like accountants. Like, they don't care about it. But I think it's kind of like a good mixture. And maybe Mixed. that's kind of why it works so well, like our group of friends. And I still even keep up with my friends from Memphis, you know, so like from my hometown. So yeah, I think it's just, Taylor, like, you know, like it's so important to just have like good people out here because this city, you guys, I don't want to like pivot, but me and Sarah had this incredible conversation one day about how this city can almost kind of feel like it's on top of you. Do you remember this conversation? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was saying that, uh, for example, for me, I didn't feel even with the city. And yes. now instead, I feel so much more. I feel more even. That's, yes. uh, that's the, the image that I, that I got. But uh, also, it can be very isolated because yes. it's all spread out for, for a series of, of things. And mm -hmm. so this is, uh, I'm happy that, that you can keep your friends all t together. And how would you deal with self-doubt in, in life or in uh, for acting? If I'm being completely honest, honest? I, am still, <laughs> I love it. I am still um, kind of fighting through that a little bit. You know, like, I mean, Sarah, you know, like me, literally asking me to do this i was like are you sure you want me to <laughs> like I, I that really was didn't. crazy i was like please dominic just say yes why not instead oh i thought i don't i don't want to share that conversation between you and i no, those yeah. text messages but oh i thought that blah 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 blah, blah. Said, no, just say why not why not <laughs> i just honestly i i sometimes i still get very surprised when people like want to hear advice from me or when people want to talk to me, like I get a lot of messages about, you know, like, oh, I'm like, oh, I really wish like I want to be like an actor too. Like, how do you get started and stuff? I'm like, you want advice from me? I, to be honest, self-doubt, I think it's going to happen anytime you are passionate about anything. Like in life, if you are passionate about being a, I don't know, gardener, you're going to be self-doubting yourself sometimes because it's something you care about so much. I have just learned that my superpower is just me. Nobody can do Dominique the way Dominique can do Dominique. Nobody in this world, you can, I mean, and I have, I hope this doesn't sound cocky, but I have seen people try to replicate me a little bit, you know. Really? Kind of... Wait, how and where and what? Which? Who? <laughs> how, how did you see that? Like on the social media? So on social, social media, media, it was like more in person, to be completely honest. I have noticed, like, since being out here in L.A., sometimes people study you. Like, and I always kind of thought it was a little bit, uh, you know, like, it's, it's kind of like, why just not be yourself? But I have seen people try to be, you know, kind of like loud and very flamboyant and it just, or just try to like, I don't know, whatever it is. And it comes off almost cringe worthy. And they weren't like that before I met them. They only started doing this as soon as like we started interacting. You mean like you noticed that when they were talking to you, when like they while they were me, talking to you or with other people as well, you noticed, hey, that's me. That's me. Yeah. Or <laughs> even it? like in my, and sometimes like in, um, like on auditions and stuff like that, like I have noticed, or like with people's Instagram pages. Now all of a sudden they want to start kind of doing like comedy little bits and stuff, or they want to start, you know, like saying stuff the way I would do it or whatnot, which is fine. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate it, to be honest. I appreciate it because honestly, I'm like, who am I? Like, what? You should brag about it, Dominic. Wait. No, <laughs> my 
my mom always told me like a, a braggadocious heart is a quick way to lose yourself. Like saying like, oh, I'm so talented or I can do this and do that. That's the quickest way no, to lose yourself. No, but you should yourself. silently, silently say, hey, if those people want to, they, they want to emulate me, that means they find something in me. I have something to give. Sarah, can I tell you actually something? This happened literally just the day before yesterday because I was dealing with like the self-doubt a little bit. I honestly just went back in my Instagram feed and just started looking at some of the stuff I've done, just looking at some of the work. And I felt so good. I was like, I literally got up and I'm like, you talented, Dominique. Dominique, boy, you better go. You better, oh, you better go. Because I, I, there are, because with, with acting, and I don't know if we'll get to this now, but really quick, with acting, you hear a lot of no's, or actually you don't hear anything at all. You just, it's the silence that you are trying to cope with, right? Like, I didn't hear anything back from this really big thing I auditioned for, and I really wanted it, but maybe it wasn't for me. And I thought I did really good on that audition and stuff. You know, like, you have so many things that go through your mind that it is, it is very hard to sometimes feel good about yourself. I think I have something special. I truly do, but... Sometimes so what, what like... do you do to relax? What do you do to really put the stuff down into a drawer come here, and just... Yeah, oh, buddy, I was buddy, gonna buddy. Say, yeah, I was going to say, come here, come here, Bubba. Come here, come here. Buddy, I buddy, buddy. Say, Dominic's here. dog is so cute. Cute, troppo carino, molto carino. Ciao, buddy. No, I don't mean to call him. He doesn't yes. recognize. <laughs> say hi. That's George's mommy. <laughs> okay, he doesn't care. Okay, but okay. <laughs> that little guy over there has helped me calm down so much because I focus on him a lot more than because I can control him right I can control whether he's happy whether he's fed whether he's sick whether he's wagging his tail scared whatever I can't control the industry I cannot control when somebody wants to see me for an audition I cannot control anything really like it is a very hairy up and wait type of game. You audition, you get it in very soon, and you wait to hear if something happens, you know? So it's honestly just like a very hairy up waiting game, but like he has helped me a lot. Um, having a life outside of acting has truly been a big help because when you focus on something so much, it can take away the love that you have for it. Like, oh, I got to book this. I got to book this. I got to do this audition so great. It it will eat and at you. And sometimes it's true. And sometimes even like tergiversing or really shifting like the, the goal on something else that is different from the entertainment or from acting. He moves, we move energy around. I mean, that's what mm -hmm. happens to me. It could be just a small trip with a friend or like doing a different task. Something completely out, like off or um, yes. totally... Or Therapy has helped me a lot too. Therapy has yeah. been very good for my we mental. Move, we move yeah. the universe. We move yes. the universe energy like around. And mm -hmm. then something else that you really wanted, it might happen just because you, you moved away from that, from what you really wanted. Absolutely. That's what, what sometimes happens to me too. And um, I, I love that. I, I never thought about it like that, but it's, it's true. Therapy has helped me a lot with um, just being okay with the things I cannot control. Um, and, you know, like my faith, too. You know, like I am very spiritual. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just have to believe that God has a plan for my life that is bigger than anything I can ever think of. And I hold on to that, even in the tough times. You know, like I just believe that it is all for a bigger cause, you know? And honestly, to be honest, Sarah, like there's a saying that, um, I, I, I think it's been kind of floating around on social media a little bit too, but it said that like the world, the universe, whatever you believe in would not put a dream and goal in your heart for it not to come true. If you do what you need to do in order to get there. Now, if you have a dream and you lazy, just, Sorry. I mean, because like you have to, 
this I think I don't know, but this um, business takes more than just talent. It takes mm -hmm. hard work. It takes resilience. It takes after you've heard no so many times, how do you get back up and be like, okay, that's okay. I heard no, but I'm still talented. It's cool. It's cool. You know, I just, I yeah, honestly, the I just didn't go away. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, I just let myself have a cry when I need to have a cry. And then I move on. I like to release it. I have to let it go. Like, I'm a cancer. You know, like, my birthday is literally on Friday. So oh, I, I, I have to... Thank you, thank you. I'm getting old in these streets. I'm so old, but I, I know it's that actually I shouldn't say birthday because he, it's not. It, they say not good luck. So I will wish you buon compleanno un'altra volta. Okay. What What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> no, we wish happy birthday like on on your day, you <laughs> not before. Yeah. I, but I already did it. I did it. It's I'm okay. Sorry. It's okay. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. But yeah. No, like, but I, but I, you were. <laughs> yeah, but um, it really honestly is just about, you know, just kind of um, being okay with yourself. That's basically it. Like, it's about, like, just get through those moments. I'm spiritual, so I believe. And honestly, whatever happens, it happens. It's okay. I, I love what you, and we can wrap it up with faith. What faith. you just said, having faith in what you believe. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a dream and that dream is real, It'll happen, but what you just said, if it isn't real, if it isn't that strong, mm -hmm. that means we don't really want to, we don't really want to back to us. We don't want to really breathe that dream. Absolutely. So I, I, if everything's trying, I think you, you have, uh, from all of our conversations, like a very, very strong passion to acting, and you can see it like, the little video that you I shared on my stories on Instagram and it's on your account <laughs> that it's it's very funny. It, it is. It is funny. <laughs> you are the flamboyant story. for now, flam flamboyant guy, but you're gonna get uh, more parts and more and more and just you have to keep going. Uh, there's no key or trick. I appreciate you so much, my friend. I am working on some stuff. I am excited about things that are supposed to be coming out. Um, I am just, I am just trying to make sure that I am making my eight-year-old self proud because he deserves to be happy. That little eight-year-old boy in Memphis, you know, like he deserves to be happy, and like I'm not gonna stop until all of the things he thought could be real become real. And so far, I have to say, even though I'm very hard on myself sometimes, I like the progression that I am showing right now. I have a great team right now. Um, I am having things to come out. Like this year, I made my first like scripted film and television debut. So things are... Things are happening. And it's I am nice, and it's good, Dominic, that you, you said it's good that you are tough with yourself sometimes, but we have to, you have to, because that keeps you grounded. Yes, Being yes. Being tough keeps you grounded, and it keeps you improving, it keeps you growing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I always want to grow. I love being in acting class. I love watching movies, studying them and stuff. But, yeah, I just want to... I just want to grow. Like, I really love telling stories, Sarah. Like, I, it say it literally saved my life. And I know that sounds very Oprah or whatever and stuff, but it acting saved my life. Like, I dreamed of being outside of the circumstances that I was actually in. And it saved my life. So I'm going to keep doing this thing because maybe I can save somebody else's life. You never know. Yes, you will, through your work and your heart and your passion. You're already doing it. Without ah. No, it's true. You're, you're doing it. Sometimes you don't have to achieve something so big to change someone's life. It can be a small thing every day. At the dog park! <laughs> At the dog park! At the dog park! I'm changing his life every with day so day many dogs and owners. Oh my god! And you yeah. always have a smile for for them. It's true, but it's true. A small word, something that can 
make them feel happy again and that that's enough for for that person for and in that day you accomplished yeah. and you save you save their day wow. so dominic I'm going to sleep right now because it's late. <laughs> what time is it there? What time is it there? Right now, right now it's 11 p.m. Now I'm still awake. Uh, oh, wow. Now my, like, my adrenaline is up. Uh, yeah. But I, I, what? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, yeah, like it is late for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, Excuse you me. go ahead. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah I appreciate the, um, the interview. Thank you so much for even considering me, my friend, because I did not think like, <laughs> like don't say it, don't say it don't say yeah. it anymore no more no more anymore. Yes, thank you yes. so much to you dominic i'm sarah z dominic dominic willingham yes yes, yes. <laughs> i'll yes. see you yes. back in la dominic thank you very much grazie mille grazie bye, bye. 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 ciao ciao <laughs>